Hello and welcome. Today we install the 32-bit version of Ubuntu 18.04. If you want to know how to get the ISO of this 32-bit version, please check out my video. So, let's start. Here you can see the installer boot menu. The first thing you want to do is to select a language. Now, in my case, it would be German, but for this video, I choose English. Next, we will select our time zone. If I would uh, install it for me, I would not choose United States here, but for this video, I leave it as it is. But I want to use my German keyboard, so I don't choose English. You choose what you like. This is the network. You have to wait a little bit. The host name, I don't change it now. We go to continue. Don't forget to check this box with the arrow keys. And now we have to find a mirror for downloading all the software we need. And I choose a mirror in Germany because it's faster. And you choose a mirror that fits best for you. And here it is. This is the best mirror for me. I continue here. Don't need that. We have to do nothing here. We only have to wait until this process is finished. So now we have to add a name for the user. Um, let's, let's say I'm Joe. And the username for the account. Yes, it's Joe. And now a password. Uh, I don't want to show the password in clear now, because otherwise you would see it. But you can do that. Continue. And you have to re-enter the password to verify it. Continue. You enter the password that consists of less than eight characters, which is considered too weak. You should choose a stronger password but I want to use the weak password now for this video. I know I would never use this password in real life. Use weak password. Yes, I do. Based on your present physical location, your time zone is Euro Berlin. Okay, is this time zone correct? Yes, it is. So um, now we can choose if we want a guided installation, the partitioning method. I prefer now here in the virtual box. And, but you can also use the entire disk and set up LVM and you can encrypt the LVM if you want. And you also can partition it manually if you want to change something in your partition table. For example, if you want to have a separate home partition that makes sense. But for now, I make a guided use entire disk installation. You can do it as you like. You can see I have 40.5 gigs here in my VBox. Now Ubuntu asks me if I want to write the changes to the disk. Is this the right disk? Please check that because all what's on that disk will be deleted after you click yes please be sure that this is the right disk before you click yes now we click yes and now you can see it's installing the base system well i'm back when this is finished after the installation of the base system you can choose if you want to install security updates automatically. Default is no automatic updates. And now you can install additional software. For example, you can install another desktop, Kubuntu Desktop or Kubuntu Full. You also can choose a vanilla GNOME desktop if you like that. Now you can install the grub bootloader to the master boot record. Um, normally this is default. If you choose no, you have to think about why you want to do this. But I choose yes now. 
Now we are installing the grub bootloader. So is the, the installation is complete now. Now it's time to boot in your new system. And please make sure to remove the installation media, whether it is a CD-ROM, floppy, <laughs> I don't think you have a floppy, or an USB stick. Because if you don't do that, the installation process will begin again. So continue. So here we are. Type in the password. Sign in. And this is Ubuntu 18.04 32-bit. And as I said, you can choose another desktop if you don't like this one. Ubuntu 18.04 is supported until April 2023. So you have one more year. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumb and bye bye until the next video. See ya.